college buddies tend to get very high marks because they've been around each other for a long time. See, the worst thing that can happen is a co-founder split in the middle of all this, right? Then they can destroy the business. And also how well each person knows his role or is attuned to a specific role in the organization. If there are two co-founders, they can't be good at everything. So they got to divide areas between them. There has to be accountability. If there are more than two, there are three or four founders. Each has to pick up a specific area and be accountable for that. We cannot have four managing directors right, or three man, two managing directors doing everything. So I think cohesion is very important. The risk that the team will split is the uppermost in the mind of the VC because you put in money and some shit happens and they walk away. So I think the having operational clarity, role clarity, expectations are all a part of how comfort can be brought in. Otherwise, if it's a relatively new team, VCs will only look at the main founder and nobody else. Others will be seen as hands for hire. 